Hi, I'm Brie McAdam, criminal justice reporter with the Saskatoon Star Phoenix, and this is The Docket, where I talk about the court cases that I've covered during the week. Uh, This week, three teens were charged with second-degree murder in the fatal shooting of another teen uh, over the weekend in Saskatoon. A 15-year-old boy collapsed inside the Credit Union building uh, on Arlington Avenue on Saturday, November 2nd. It was just before noon. First responders uh, tried to save the boy, but they couldn't. None of the teens can be identified, including the victim, because the people accused in his death are also youths, and this is the law under the Youth Criminal Justice Act. Police do not believe this shooting was random. After searching three homes, they arrested three boys, two 15-year-olds and one 17-year-old. And they all appeared in Saskatoon Youth Court this week uh, in a courtroom that was so full people actually had to stand in the entranceway. Uh, The teens were ordered to have no contact with about four or five people, including each other, while they're in custody. Uh, The boy's death is Saskatoon's 15th homicide of the year. In 2017, Cornell Henry was an inmate uh, on remand at the Saskatoon jail when he was severely beaten by two other inmates. Uh, He died 10 days later from severe head injuries. Now, this week, 31-year-old Nathan Ermine was sentenced to six years for his role in the attack after pleading guilty to manslaughter in Saskatoon uh, Court of Queen's Bench. Now, surveillance video showed Ermine and another man enter Henry's cell, but it didn't show who was doing what inside. Ermine says that he did not strike Henry, but he admits preventing Henry from being able to leave his cell. The Crown said Henry did absolutely nothing to provoke this attack. Court heard it happened uh, shortly after inmates got their hands on Henry's file that was accidentally left on a breakfast cart in their unit. Um, Some of Henry's family members, including his father, were in court, and they said that Henry comes from a tight-knit family and would do anything for his young daughter. Ermine stood up in court to say that this was never supposed to happen. Um, His lawyer said Ermine actually just thought that they were going to Henry Cell to tell him to leave their unit. Uh, Now, in addition to his six-year manslaughter sentence, Ermine got another three years for beating a man with a metal pipe during an attempted robbery, the crime that had landed him on remand. As always, you can read more detailed accounts of these stories at thestarphoenix.com.